Hello, my name is David Brinkman. I'm going to be giving a, a little demo of the Conyers The Farm. It is a GPS enabled talking app. The way you get to it is um, the main web page is HistorySoft slash Conyers. And on this page there are some basic instructions on how to use the app. And of course it's what we're covering here is the farm and the area around the farm where many miraculous things have occurred over the years. That's how I got into this. I have some personal miracles that happened here at Conyers. And, um, and I decided to make an app about it so that people um, that are not necessarily at Conyers, they can um, still see some of the things that are there and experience some of the things that are you can do when you go there. So I'm going to start off here with um, here in the beginning it, and and this page gives you also kind of an introduction to some of the scientific work that was done at Conyers. Uh, the majority of people that go there today are not aware of that and it's it's very important and we need to make sure that um, this is not forgotten. Um, some of the books written about it are now out of publication so it's important that we we keep this alive. But on the page, just a brief run through, um, you can launch the application from here by clicking in this window or you can click on this link. Uh, there's some other information. Um, there's some 360 photographs here which you can, within the photograph, you can um, move around a full 360 degrees. Um, here is the inside the apparition room. There's Rosary Hill. And in the garden area where there's a, a number of statues of, of Mary and the saints. Um, and also Stations of the Cross, which is about a one half mile walk. And then uh, which ends at Holy Hill, um, where you can also find the uh, Ukrainian Catholic Church. This is the inside view of it. Also the monastery which is in Conyers. And the location where um, the church will be built sometime in the future. And at the end is um, some video from the 1990s showing some of the miraculous events that occurred. Uh, the flashing of the, of the sun, miracle of the sun there. Uh, rose petals falling from the sky. Uh, funnel clouds developing. All these things occurred during the monthly apparition. So that's just some of the things on the page, but what we're going to focus on is the app itself. And um, if you click on that, we're now in the app. If, you're, if you've ever used Google Maps, this will look very familiar. It has all some of the same functions in it. Up here you could choose just a map, which is not very interesting. So we default to using the satellite image. Um, you have the basic functions. You can zoom in with the plus, zoom out with the minus. If you zoom all the way out, you can see all these markers we have around the area of Conyers. These markers the can second be selected. Station. Jesus accepts the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because, by your holy cross... So when you select one of these, you can stop it by pressing the mute mute current audio. Um, here we have in Rosary Hill. You can also zoom in with the with the wheel on the mouse. The and fourth luminous the, mystery, the, the transfiguration. Jesus wants... You can stop it. If we want Spanish, you can select Spanish here. El primer misterio these. luminoso, el bautismo de Jesús en el río Jordán.
and as you can see here's the entrance to the farm where you would come in this is the apparition room there's some um, this is where the stations of the cross begin and they they run south um, but in the um, in 1993 the scientists room. gathered here to test the visionary Nancy Fowler who had been having apparitions here of the Blessed Mother and Jesus so that's some of the introduction to the scientific work and um, like in Google Maps you also have these features over here you could do a full screen here with this and I'm demonstrating this right now on a PC um, so you can you can run this on a PC uh, you can rotate the image to whatever you like you can see the aerial photos were taken at different times during the season during the different seasons you could also um, remove the tilt and then also a, a neat feature is the street view we're all used to the street view here that you get um, if you drop down we're in the road here is the farm right up here that's the apparition room you exit out of street view up here and also if you notice if you pick street view and you drag it there's blue dots around here so these are all locations where you know we've done the 360 degree photos I showed you a few of those but there's a lot more of them out here like um, down in the area of the woods um, where we have statues of the Saints you can look around there and get a full 360 degree view of that so there's quite a few of these points around here like stations of the cross um, if you were to drop down here you would see that here we are there's that station here's the one I, I showed before was the um, well if we get out let's see let's drop down here in the street here street view here you can see this is the Ukrainian Mother of God Church is right here there's one of the blue dots if we drop it there there we are inside the church you see the beautiful you know this ceiling is painted get a full 360 degree view of inside the church so I'm doing all of this on a PC and for a PC up here we've got these other features where you can change location actually this is PC or um, a mobile device you could do this like if we want to go to Rosary Hill we can change over to that um, the GPS doesn't really have any purpose on a PC because you don't have a GPS device built into a PC um, so this isn't going to do anything at all on the PC but I'll show you I'll be switching over to a mobile device and I'll be demonstrating that next but you can do the Spanish all those languages so all these markers you have to manually select these in GPS mode if you're on the farm you don't have to do that as you walk along and you approach each marker it will start talking to you automatically and we're going to move over right now and give you a demonstration or, or show you what that would look like on a mobile device. So here we are. Um, this is only supported on Android devices. Uh, fortunately, 90% of all mobile devices are now Android, and that is increasing. It should work on Apple, but it doesn't because Apple disables features in their products they want you to pay for those uh, Google does not do that they provide services like GPS the um, the voice uh, these and and the maps it's all free so uh, I don't ever see this being supported on Apple so when you start up the app you'll you'll be seeing this right here we're at the location of the Ukrainian Catholic Church and um, what we want to look at 
here first of all is is the GPS function so when you select that if by some chance like right now I'm in Columbia South Carolina I'm not in the area of the farm so if I were to select this it's going to tell me you are not near the farm so there's really no reason to do that but if I were on the farm for instance like in this picture if I were standing there in front of the farmhouse you would see a blue dot there um, if I'm not on the farm if I go ahead and press that button a second time it's going to turn on the GPS and in this case it takes me right to my house because that's where I am right now so um, this is not really useful but um, if you but at, but I'm not on the farm right now so I can't give you that demo but I want to point out some things here so so we're in GPS mode you have that blue dot which will follow you wherever you go um, normally in in GPS mode you want to also press this button keep screen and GPS on because mobile devices will will turn off after so many seconds you can kind of configure that but I think at most you'll you won't be able to have it left on for more than 10 minutes before it will um, kind of go to sleep and you don't want that to happen if you want to be tracking yourself like if you're walking the stations of the cross in Conyers that may take you know 30 to 60 minutes to do that so you want your your phone and your GPS to stay active so you would press this button then it will say the screen is locked on so it will stay turned on um, during that period until you exit the application um, now one way you can turn off the GPS you could come up here and press GPS is now on you could press that to disable it or if you come over here like right now I'm at my house in Columbia South Carolina and I said well that's not where I want to be with this I want to go back to Conyers so I could also pick locations and then also select the Mother of God Church and now it has taken me back to that location in Conyers to exit the application you just press the back button on the phone and it will confirm that with you and that's that's basically it so the idea is when you're in Conyers on the farm you would start up the app it will show a blue dot wherever you are if you're at the apparition room it will show a blue dot there and then it will follow you around and every one of those markers you saw on the screen as you reach a marker it will start talking to you about it and that's the basic idea of the app um, it allows you to do this this GPS enabled um, talking tour guide um, while you're at Conyers or if you're not at Conyers um, or you're you know you're on a PC at your home you can you can still bring it up and you can manually select those points and that's it for the demo um, hope you'll try it out and I hope you'll come to Conyers and, and give it a try once again the website is historysoft.com slash Conyers